seven seventy seven plus seven seven seven, and this is going on. Two oh n terms. Look at this, right? Uh, do you? Uh, I mean, what can we say? I mean, uh, from here to here, it's neither an a, a, a p nor s p. Like the difference is seventy, and then the next difference is seven hundred, and then the next difference is right, right? So the difference is seventy, and then seven hundred, and then so on and so forth, right? Even division like seventy seven by seven is divisible by eleven, but this is not even divisible by eleven actually, right? So then the common ratio is also not coming, right? And this is also changing. So what is happening here is, what you can see the um, the difference is increasing and. The difference is increasing in the fashion, which is like a GP. Like the next one, which if we look at right, seven 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 seven, if it is, then this will be seven thousand actually. Okay, so this is going in a fashion of GP. The difference, right? And in such cases, when the difference is going in the fashion of GP, right? What do you do is you do two ways. The long way is like you write as like this, and then again. What you do is that you write the same thing but shift it by one. So like seven here, seventy seven over here, then seven 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 here. Basically, what you're doing is you're subtracting. So you're saying that okay, t n minus one will be here, but right? getting subtracted, and then there will be t n. So as I said, this is a long way. So then I what I do is I'll subtract. I'll subtract, and everything gets subtracted. And what I get this is zero. I get this as seven. And this seventy seven minus seven will be seventy. Then here seven seven seven. This will be seven hundred. Then it will be seven thousand, and then it will go up to n terms, up to n terms, and then there is the last term is minus t n because this is not going to get subtracted by anything because I have shifted it by one. So, so this my nth term actually goes this side. So this is becomes t n. And T N becomes seven plus seventy plus seven hundred and seven thousand and so on and so forth. So I see this is an A G P like where in the first term is seven, your common difference is ten. So this will be ten to the power n minus one divided by ten minus one. And what is this? This is seven by nine, and this is ten to the power n minus one. So what you see here is the nth term. It's not the summation. It's nth term. So my summation is what? My summation will be t1 plus t2 plus tn. Okay. So let's first find out whether my t1 is correct or not. We do know what is my t1, t2, and all that, right? <laughs> so let's find out what is my t1. So t1 is if I put 10 n equals to 1, then this will become 7 by 9, 10 to the power 1 minus 1, which will be 9 itself. So this will be 7. So 7 is correct. This is t1. Then let's take t2. That will be 7 by 9. Divide by 10 to the power 2 minus 1, which will be again 7 by 9 into 99. Okay, so this is gonna be 77. So that's also correct. And you can check other ones, other ones as well. So we got that. That okay, this is fine. So we can say that summation is nothing but sigma of t n and varying from 1 to n. This is what it is. So we are going to write the set sigma 7 by 9, 10 to the power n minus 1. n equals to one to nine. Now this is my constant, so it will come out. So this will be seven by nine, and this will become sigma ten to the power n minus one. N equals to one to nine, and not nine n. Then I'll take seven by nine, and I can write this as also sigma ten to the power n minus sigma one. n equals to one to a. So if you look at this seven by ten to the power n is basically a GP. Why? Because if I put n equals one, this will be ten ten square plus ten cube, and this will go on up to ten to the power n. While my this is sigma one will be simply n because this is how it is, right? Now this will become seven by nine, and this will become <coughs> GP again GP. GP's first term is ten. The common difference is ten, and then this is what is the formula for that. And then we have got n over here. 
then I can say this is nothing but 70 upon 9 into 9 which is 81 into 10 to the power n minus 1 minus 7 by 9 and so either I can keep it here and then this is what will be my answer 